there's a lot of benefits to, to operating uh, your business or your project within a crowdfunding space. Um, the most obvious one is access to capital. So financing, it can be really challenging to find the right kind of financing or the right kind of financing partners for the work that you're doing. Um, and so crowdfunding creates an opportunity for lots of different people to come together and aggregate small amounts of money uh, towards one project. And so access to capital for sure is the number one reason that people use crowdfunding platforms. Like I said, aggregating small amounts of money towards one project also mitigates risk. So the second big benefit to using crowdfunding platforms is risk mitigation. If you have one person investing $1,000 in your business and your business fails, that person is out $1,000. But if you have 1,000 people investing $1 each in your business, all of that risk is spread across all of those different investors. And so it creates more security from a lender or from someone donating money to a project where they feel like you know there there's an opportunity to, to do a lot of good but there isn't necessarily a massive risk that they have to take on in doing that the other big piece of it is marketing so when we're when you're creating a business it's all about marketing or if you're creating a change project around climate change it's about awareness and education um, if you're starting a really big business, it might be about PR. And so that, that same concept around having a lot of people understand your business and get excited about it um, can be really expensive. And so crowdfunding creates an opportunity to do that in a way that's organic to using the platform. You can put your project up there. It's seen by a whole network of people who are sharing it with their network who are sharing it with their network and if it gets a lot of buzz you might even get you know to be on the radio or on TV or in a magazine and so it creates this opportunity for marketing and awareness that is usually a big cost in starting a business um, some of the other benefits around starting uh, your project or business through crowdfunding is that you can use this as an opportunity to create a proof of concept. So you can test an idea, you can start with a really small project where you think you know what's going to happen, you have a hypothesis around how it's going to work, um, but you wanna test it to make sure that it's, it's going to be something that you can scale up. And so a lot of people will raise funds through and awareness or marketing through crowdfunding so that they can have a lot of buy-in if their project or their business you know, turns out to be really successful, they have a whole audience that they can tap into with that proof of concept to scale their work to another level. And one of the last big areas around the, the benefits of using crowdfunding platforms or crowd equity platforms or lending platforms is that it's a lot easier in a lot of ways than other traditional applications for financing. And so, um, it's amazing to see programs like Kennedy's that are delivering microfinancing at that scale, they don't exist everywhere. And so it's really challenging for people to access that kind of financing through a bank if you don't have credit or you don't have investors that you can talk to or you don't have a huge network, it's hard to find that access. Power of the crowd to provide support. And just to touch on the last point here, the crossing borders and geography. So this is something exciting that you guys are going to be digging into. Um, when you bring microfinance or microcredit together with technology, you have opportunities to not only transcend those barriers that people might have, like creating those applications or access to microfinance, but you can also transcend boundaries, geographic boundaries, uh, whether that's outside of your community or outside of your country. And so through pl platforms like Lending Loop or Kiva, you can actually get to know the entrepreneurs that you're investing in read their stories and transcend those boundaries in a way that we weren't able to do, you know, 10 or 15 years ago. And so we're going to start to see a lot more opportunities around that.